Hi! Today we're going to learn about punctuation and spelling. Let's start with finding out how to use punctuation to set off non-restrictive or parenthetical elements. Punctuation marks such as commas, parentheses, and dashes are used to set off non-restrictive or parenthetical elements. These elements are not essential to the meaning of the sentence, but they provide additional information. Here are some examples. Commas. Commas are used to set off non-restrictive elements that interrupt the flow of the sentence. They can be used to indicate a pause, and the sentence can still make sense without the element. For example, the dog, which was brown and white, ran around the park. My sister, who is a doctor, lives in Chicago. Parentheses. Parentheses are used to set off non-restrictive elements that are less closely related to the rest of the sentence. They are often used to provide additional information that is not essential to the meaning of the sentence. For example, the concert, which I really enjoyed, was held at the park. The new student, who was from Japan, was nervous on his first day. Dashes. Dashes are used to set off non-restrictive elements that emphasize a point or provide additional information. They can be used in place of commas or parentheses. For example, the movie was amazing, I had never seen anything like it. The recipe, which had been passed down through generations, was a family secret. Remember when using punctuation like commas, parentheses, and dashes. They help separate elements of a sentence that provides more details. Spelling Spelling can be tricky, but it's an essential part of effective communication. Here are some tips to help you spell some commonly misspelled words for grade 6 Common Core ELA. Separate. This word is often misspelled, like this. To remember how to spell it correctly, think of the word apart as you separate the two A's in the word. Definitely. This word is often misspelled, like this. To remember how to spell it correctly, Break the word into two parts, definite and li. Accommodate. This word is often misspelled, like this. To remember how to spell it correctly, think of the word accommodation, and then add the eighth suffix. Embarrass. This word is often misspelled, like this. To remember how to spell it correctly, think of the word bar in the middle of the word, and then add the RAS at the end. Conscience. This word is often misspelled, like this. To remember how to spell it correctly, think of the phrase conscience, and remember that there are two C's in the word. Parallel. This word is often misspelled, like this. To remember how to spell it correctly, think of the two L's in the word as being parallel to each other. Remember that the best way to improve your spelling is to practice, practice, practice.